9.3 similar right triangles. When the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, the two smaller triangles are similar to the original triangle and to each other. Recall that altitude, a synonym for altitude is height. When you draw in the height of a triangle, of a right triangle, and this orientation is, is so that the right angle of the big triangle is up at the top and the altitude is drawn inside of the right triangle. In any other orientation, the altitude would be one of the lengths of the legs. So this, this orientation actually gets you an altitude inside. Note that similar means proportional. So that means we can use proportions to help us get the missing parts. So we're going to be setting up ratios in order to help us solve these problems today. So these altitudes create three triangles. I'm going to call this one my large, this one my medium, and this guy my small. On each of these triangles, there's three parts that we're going to be related to each other. You're going to have hypotenuse on all three. So the bottom one is the hypotenuse, this left one is the hypotenuse, and this right one is the hypotenuse. And then they're going to have a short leg and a long leg. So on this larger triangle, this CB would be your short leg. CA would be your long leg. I'm going to start using those terms to talk about different parts of each of the triangle pieces. So let's try this first example. Identify the similar triangles in the diagram. So what you need to do is draw three triangles. I recommend that you draw them in the orientation that we prefer, which would be upright with your 90 degree angle in the bottom left. That's the typical orientation that we prefer when it comes to right triangles. And because this diagram has an altitude, that altitude creates three similar triangles. So the first one I want to look at is our large triangle, which is going to be your outside triangle. I like to start with the 90 degree corner. So the 90 degree corner is T. The short leg is going to be T to S. And our long leg is going to be T to R. Now we're going to do it with our medium triangle. So our medium triangle is this guy. I'm going to kind of trace it a couple times here. This left triangle is our medium triangle. The 90 degree angle is at that U corner. The short leg is the actually the altitude, U to T. And the hypotenuse is going to be T to R. Then on our small triangle, our right angle is right here on the corner. It's going to be U. Our short leg is going to be U to S, and then our longer leg is going to be U to T. So this is how you can set up your three triangles, and we're going to use this to help us set up proportions for solving missing pieces of the triangle. So let's take a look at example number two. Find the value of X. It's got the altitude drawn in, and we know that it's a three, four, five triangle. It's a Pythagorean triple. So to help us solve this, we're going to draw three triangles. Large, medium, and small. And we're going to label the sides of each one. So on the large triangle, I can see that the short leg is three, the long leg is four, and the hypotenuse is five. On the medium triangle, I can see that the short leg is X, and the hypotenuse is four. On the small triangle, I don't know the short leg, but I do know the long leg is X and the hypotenuse is three. Now there is more than one way to solve this problem. You can set up the proportion between this small triangle and the big triangle, or you can set up your proportion between the medium triangle and the big triangle. Each of them have a comparison that we can set up I'm going to do the comparison between the medium triangle and the large triangle on this one. But again, there is more than one way to set these proportions up. So we can say X is to three as four is to five. 
And now we can cross multiply to solve. So x times 5 is 5x. 4 times 3 is 12 divided by 5. So x equals 2.4. Pause this video and try the second example on your own. Just to leave it as an exact answer, I'm going to leave it as 60 thirteenths. If you type that into a calculator, an approximate answer would be 4.62 if you rounded it to the nearest, um, uh, the second decimal, two decimal places, hundredths place. Okay, let's take a look at some of a different flavor. We're still going to use the same technique of using three triangles to help us set up proportions. So first work on your three triangles. So if you take a look at this big triangle, I don't know the short leg or the long leg, but I do know about the hypotenuse. It's six and three, which makes our total of our hypotenuse nine. Then on the medium triangle, I know the short leg and the long leg. And then on the small triangle, I know the short leg and the long leg. So on this one, we don't need our large triangle at all. It has not enough information to help us compare. But on the small and the medium triangle, we can compare between them. So let's do x is to 3 as 6 is to x. Now cross multiply. x times x is not 2x. That's a common misconception. x times x is x squared. And 3 times 6 is 18. The square root of both sides to cancel the square and x equals the square root of 18. That's an exact answer. If you want to simplify this radical, it simplifies into a 9 and a 2 and a 3 and a 3. So then you're going to have a pair of 3s and a 2 left over, so it's going to be 3 root 2 as the simplified radical. Pause this video and try the second one on your own. Oops, this is a Y. Sorry. Y equals the square root of 14. 14 is composite, it's comprised of two prime numbers, 2 and 7, so it does not simplify any further. The square root of 14 is as far as you can go. All right, next one. Find the values of x, y, and z, and the only information we're provided is a ch the chunks of the hypotenuse, 9 and 3. I'm going to go ahead and let you pause this video and try this example on your own.
trick to this problem is definitely working at, on one variable at a time and looking at where those variables live. So I'll just talk about the setup of the x's for a minute. So on the setup of the x's, it was only between the medium and the small triangle. So x is to 3 as 9 is to x. I ignored the z and the y. I didn't need them for this proportional setup. So only work on one variable at a time. Okay, so the process that we've been doing where we're calculating the altitude of these triangles, it has its own name. It's called the geometric mean. And the geometric mean of two positive numbers, A and B, is the positive number X that satisfies this proportion. That's what we've been doing when it was a problem that looked like this one from up above where we knew two chunks of the hypotenuse. And you can calculate this just kind of like a naked number problem. So here's, here's the example. Find the geometric mean of 24 and 48. What that actually means, I'll draw a picture, is that we have an altitude of a right triangle, and this would be 48, and this would be 24, and they would be asking you to calculate the altitude. Well, once you calculate the altitude, it sets up this proportion and you're able to solve. So I'm gonna do it over here. So we've got 24 is to x as x is to 48, which is x squared equals 24 times 48, which is 1,152. So x equals the square root of 1,152. I know that 1,152 is composite, but it's kind of a big one, so I'll do it over here. So 1,152. If you look for the largest perfect square that lives inside of there, it's going to be a big one. <laughs> so we can, we can make the tree for this. I know it breaks up into 24 and 48. And I also know that 48 breaks up into a 24 and a 2. So if you notice, you can stop right there and you've got a pair of 24s and a 2. So it's going to be the square root or it's going to be 24 square roots of 2. If you finish that tree, you'll get seven twos and two threes, and you would still get 24 root two. Example number four, a roof has a cross section that is a right triangle. The diagram shows the approximate dimensions of this cross section. Find the height H of the roof. I can see that's the altitude, so it's similar right triangles. If we draw our triangles, We've got 3.1, 5.5, and 6.3. We've got H, and we don't know the long leg, but I do know the hypotenuse is 5.5. I don't know the short leg, but the long leg is H and 3.1. So again, there are multiple ways to set up the proportion. I'm going to do H is to, let's do... H is to 5.5, so let's do the small to the big. So H is to 5.5 as 3.1 <clears throat> is to 6.3. Cross multiply, 6.3H equals 17.05. Divide by 6.3, so H, and it's appropriate to use an approximate because we're going to measure that. And on a ruler, there is no square root. So we need a decimal in this case. So it's approximately, let's do one decimal place, 2.7. If you rounded it one more, 2.71. Now it says find the area of the triangular cross section. To find the area of a triangle, you wanna do base times height divided by two. The base is gonna be 6.3 times our height that we just calculated, 2.7, divided by two, which is gonna be 17.01, divided by two, which is approximately 8.5 meters squared. This is also meters, should put that up there. All right, this last thing is to us uh, um, conclude or bring it all together. Thinking back, compare similar right triangles to using Pythagorean theorem. What information is required to use each tool? So let's think about Pythagorean theorem. Something that has to be true about Pythagorean theorem is that it must be a right triangle. That also has to be true for similar right triangles. It 
has to be a right triangle. For Pythagorean theorem, the minimum amount of information you need to know is two sides. For similar right triangles, you only need to know one side. And mostly it's the hypotenuse. You kind of need to know what it's broken up to. And one more important piece, I'm going to put a star by it. For similar right triangles, you must know the altitude. So for example, Pythagorean theorem might look something like this, where we've got a three and a four and a missing length. And we know it would be a five because I just made this Pythagorean triple, but three, four, five. But on a similar right triangle, it's going to have that extra line drawn in. It's going to have that altitude piece added. And that's when you know you can use similar right triangles. Thank you.